finding a good Linux distribution can be overwhelming. But at the same time, top distributions articles always give you the same recommendations, no matter what your project or background is. I probably tested hundreds of distributions over the years, some very good, some not that great, and in this video I want to give a shout out to five of them, that I think deserve to be considered more often. Let's start with Phoenix Linux. It's an interesting distribution, I liked it when testing it on this channel. It's based on Raspberry Pi OS, so perfect compatibility with everything, and the goal is to improve the user interface to make it easier for beginners, especially Windows users, to switch to Linux. It includes many useful applications by default, so you don't really need to think about installing new ones. For example, BleachBit is like cleaner on Windows, to clean your Raspberry Pi from temporary files and logs files. It replaces the Pixel desktop environment with KDE, so you'll get the benefits of this environment, for example, the control center is really a good thing to have on Raspberry Pi OS. You can also use Discover to install new apps. It was very slow during my tests, but at least it's working. It should be way easier to find and install them than with the add remove software on Raspberry Pi OS. By the way, the tools from Raspberry Pi OS are still there, so you can use the recommended software tool to install LibreOffice, for example. But the main issue with this distribution is that it seems to be managed by only one developer. There is a recent release, but the website was down during my tests. Also, it's still based on Raspberry Pi OS Buster, and it's not a 64-bits OS. Anyway, it's still recent, so we can let him some time to update everything. If the website is still down, you can download it from SourceForge directly. Find the folder about PhoenixB, under the Pi directory. You'll also see that there is a beta version including GNOME in preparation. Anyway, I think a distribution based on Raspberry Pi OS and adding a better web interface and adding tools to manage applications has huge potential. So, why not testing it or maybe even helping the developer? If you are seeking something original, that is not based on Debian or Red Hat, OpenSUSE might be a good distribution for you. It checks all the boxes, nice interface, main applications pre-installed, easy to use overall. It's not based on Debian, but it's available for almost any desktop environment. I'm testing here a KDE version of Tumbleweed, the up-to-date distribution of OpenSUSE. YAST is the package manager, it's not exceptional, but it's similar to what we are used to on Raspberry Pi OS. I would recommend this distribution for desktop usage or if you are used to this operating system. But if you need to use GPIO or command lines, expect to spend time searching for help. Most tutorials are made for Debian-based distributions, and many things won't work the same way on this distribution. Anyway, if you want to give it a try, you can download a Raspberry Pi version of this distribution from the official website. Pick the Leap version for a stable system, or Tumbleweed for the latest packages versions. As you can see, OpenSUSE has an image available for most desktop environments. So, you should find one that fits your needs. Check my full review of OpenSUSE on this channel if you want more details about this system. ARMBN is almost the main reason I did this video. That a name I see often, but I only tested once a few years ago and didn't really understand the difference with Raspbian, so I gave up and tried other things. But recently, they mentioned me on Twitter with test images for Raspberry Pi 4 that picked my interest. It's like a mix from Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi OS, taking the best features from each one. The first boot can be scary, not the most welcoming with a dark screen. You'll need to answer a few questions to set your password, create the first user and a few other things. Yes, you need a strong password. But once done, you'll access the main interface, based on Cinnamon, currently one of my favorite desktop environments. ARMBN comes with even more apps than the full version of Raspberry Pi OS. FileZilla, Code editors, 
LibreOffice, etc. VS Codium is the open source version of VS Code. You shouldn't be lost if you are used to the Microsoft version. ARMBN is based on the next version of Ubuntu, 22.04 at the time I'm recording this. So, you have the latest version of everything on a 64 bits operating system. But it also includes some tools from Raspberry Pi OS, like Raspy Config. As it's Cinnamon on Ubuntu, you will get the same control center with all the settings in one place. As I showed you in a recent video about the best desktop environments, you can easily change your theme with this one. Just download one from the list, and enable it in one click. I will do a full review of this distribution in a future video, so I'm just giving you an overview here. Download it and test it if you are interested, you'll find the links in the description. Diet Pi is known as an ultralight distribution. But in fact, once you are in their first boot setup, you can almost build a tailored distribution just for you. Install only the app you need, pick the desktop environment you love, and enjoy the fastest operating system. Whatever your main usage will be, Diet Pi is generally a good option to consider. For a desktop usage, you can choose your desktop environment and the apps you want, instead of starting with many apps you'll never use. For a server, you can start with a minimal installation, and install complex apps like Nextcloud, Samba or WordPress in one click. Once you have selected all the apps you need, Diet Pi will install everything for you. On the next boot, everything will be set up as expected. At any time after the first boot, you can still run the wizard again and add new software as easily as with the initial configuration. It's the same tool. For example, if you started an installation as a server, but you know want to add a desktop interface, you can run the wizard again and install it in a few minutes. The interface is customized a bit, and includes shortcuts to this wizard on the desktop, to install new apps after that. Check my full video about Diet Pi to know everything about this nice distribution. Anyway, I highly recommend testing it for your next project. You'll see how easy it is to start and install the services or applications you need. The image is ultra light as it only download what you need during the setup, there is almost nothing to put on your SD card. Go to their website to download the image for your Raspberry Pi model, link in the description. Fedora has always been there. 20 years ago, all the computers in my school were already running Fedora. But Fedora is still resisting today, still in the top 10 on DistroWatch, so we shouldn't forget it so fast. The Raspberry Pi is supported directly by the developers, so that's great for us. If you already tried it on a computer, you will find the same experience on your Raspberry Pi. Fedora is based on Red Hat, so you'll experience different commands and tools, but for a desktop usage, it's great. There is a welcome wizard and the version I tested used GNOME 41 as the desktop environment. It runs smoothly on a Raspberry Pi 4, even if it's probably a bit slow on older models. Fedora comes with a few apps by default, but you'll need to install almost everything after the first boot. The system configuration can be done easily thanks to the GNOME Control Center, my favorite. The whole interface is clean and intuitive, you can use the search engine to find any configuration option. It's not exclusive to Fedora, but it's great anyway. Like with most modern distributions, there is a software catalog, to install new apps in a few clicks. So, even if Fedora doesn't come with all the default applications we are used to, it will be easy to install the ones you need with this tool. Just search for an app with a search engine or browse in a category and install it by clicking on install. I also have a more detailed video about Fedora on this channel, so feel free to watch it after this one if you are interested in this Linux distribution for your Raspberry Pi. 
and if you are really looking for the best distribution I recommend for any Raspberry Pi user, you have to watch my comparative video where I do fun tests with the four most popular systems. Just click on it to watch it now.